the incredibly powerful Naughty Baby Technique. Hi, I am your host, Piper Sky Cheyenne, and welcome back to Rebuild Reality, where we talk about who we really are, why we're here, and how, of course, all of this stuff works. So, first of all, I want to tell you, I would not be telling you this technique if I hadn't have personally had it work for me. And the other thing about this is I've never heard of it before. I don't, I've never seen it before. I don't know anyone that's ever spoken about this or that understands it because it wasn't like a technique that I really got to know from some other manifestation of people or spiritual doctrine and all that stuff. So this is how it began literally a long time ago. <laughs> We're talking like 2004. Um, I had been living in Los Angeles and things had not been going well at all. And I had been addicted to drugs. I had been living in my car. So I was homeless, you know, living basically on the streets of LA, which is not a very good thing, is it? So I ran away to Big Sur, which is this incredible place um, out in the wilderness on the central coast of California. And I always say I ran away because that's what it felt like. But anyway, when I was there, several times a day, I would have these terrible memories come up of things that had happened to me and it, they would just destroy me. And literally one day, when I remember I was at work and one of those terrible memories came up and I was just like, BAM! <laughs> I was just like, get out! You know, I, I, I just knew I wasn't going to make it. If I kept letting those memories, those thoughts into my mind, I literally was not going to survive, you know. So, but still, of course, those memories would come up several times a day, but that was it. I knew I had to do it. I had no idea what I was doing, but I was just like, no way. And every time I'd be like one of those wrestlers in the ring and I'd do a body slam on it, you know, or I'd be like, you know, I was just like, get out of here. I am in this beautiful place and I am just going to be happy. And like I said, I didn't know what I was doing or that it was a thing or anything. And what happened was that about two, maybe two and a half weeks later, one day I literally woke up and I was happy. I mean, like really sincerely happy. <laughs> and suddenly Everyone wanted to be around me. All these people were inviting me to all these events, um, all these all these things that were going on, to all their parties. Everyone suddenly wanted me there. They were all like, you know, where is she? Where is she? Is she coming and stuff? And then I got given two cars. I got given two cars and there was nothing wrong with them. People were like, I remember one of them was like a pickup truck um, that was only about maybe five years old. And the guy was like, oh, I don't know, the engine light's coming on. It's probably something terrible. Here, do you want to take it? Just have it. And I'm like, yeah, sure. That would be really great. And I didn't have the heart to tell him. I think that it just needed like an oil change or something like that. You know, because by then he'd already gotten a new car anyway. So and it wasn't until actually fairly recently that I realized, well, hold on, you know, I read about that. This is, this is a thing. This is a thing because I'd read about it in Paramahansa Yogananda's book, um, autobiography of a yogi. And of course he is the one who's famous for starting the self-realization fellowship. And in his book, I remember reading, I'm like, hold on about in the 1940s, one day his rent was due for the whole, you know, self-realization fellowship foundation, you know, all their buildings and stuff. And it was like $5,000, which in the 1940s must have been like, I don't know, $25,000 or more. And he didn't have it, like none of it. And so he told his staff, he's like, leave me alone. I'm going to be in this room for today, but don't disturb me. And he said what he did was he became the naughty baby. And basically he was like, you know, that's it. I got to have it. Um, I, you know, I've done all this, you know, I don't know what he said, obviously, but I imagine it was something along the lines of, you know, I started this whole self-realization fellowship. I put my, dedicated my whole life to this and you're going to tell me that you're not going to pay my rent, you know? Um, so he became the naughty baby. And by the end of the day, someone walked in and said, I would like to make 
a $5,000 donation. Boom, he had his money. He got his way because he wouldn't give up. He wouldn't stop. And then I remembered, well, I remember hearing about this story in the Bible, right? And I think some people, I don't know if it's called this or some people just call it this, but it's called the persistent widow. And it's in Luke 18.3. It said, and there was a widow in that city and she came unto him saying, avenge me of mine adversary. And he, the king, would not for a while, but afterwards he said within himself, though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. She got to him. She got to him. She wouldn't give up. You know, and as the saying goes, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Well, apparently that's just not true here. You know, as on earth, so in heaven, as in heaven, so on earth. So obviously persistence, putting your foot down, you know, is a real, it definitely works. Now I wouldn't really recommend freaking yourself out, like going to this. I mean, you could try it, but I don't know if I would recommend people freaking themselves out and trying to do it all in one day. But it certainly with persistence obviously works. When you put your foot down, when you decide you're going to have this, or, or that, or you're going to be this or that, or whatever it is, when you really mean it, this is when manifestation happens. And that's why it's like, no, you have to get rid of the old person you were, you know, don't worry about when it happens and all that. It's, it's, it will happen once you become it, once you're like, I'm doing this and that's all there is to it. That's the person I'm going to be, or that's the thing I'm going to have. And I'm, I don't care how long it takes. This is, I'm just doing it. And if I have to say it every single day, you know, several times a day, you know, it's not like you have to be like screaming, running around the room or something like that. You just have to be firm. You just have to know in your heart, you're like, no, I really did change. Because if the outside is the same as the inside, it would have to, it would have to follow through. It couldn't, it couldn't be anything but that. And that is the powerful naughty baby technique. So I am your host, Piper Sky Cheyenne. And once again, thank you for being here with me on Rebuild Reality. You know, I really, it, you know, appreciate once again, all your fantastic comments. There's just some such beautiful comments. And I'm so glad that this channel is making a difference in people's lives and you know i'm so glad that you beautiful creators are here that you're liking that you're sharing that you're subscribing even and that's like woohoo <laughs> you know because it it makes a difference it helps me to keep this going you know because that's what i want to do i don't want people to have to go through and to have to endure the things in life that i've had to do so this is your shortcut. All of this stuff is your shortcut. Things that I've spent my entire life, you know, testing and learning and, and, and discovering and re-remembering from before I got here. So I hope you will join me next time on Rebuild Reality right here. Sending love to you all. And I will see you soon.